Hey, I'm Al Cox, and today in BuildBox Game Review, we are checking out Impossible Caves. Now, this game actually came out in, I want to say September of 2015, and looks like they did like a, made some bug fixes and stuff like that in, uh, in 2017. Oh, cool. You know, I haven't played a, uh, landscape mode yet in the video most of them were just portrait um so this game's pretty cool you see a lot going on here um like just like even this intro video you'll see these elements in the game which is always cool uh if you see the little rock over here it's like it's dripping water these little bats flying around you'll you'll see all this in the game and like just the beautiful aesthetics of the background itself. I mean, everything down to even this play button with the shadow. So uh, this game is a fun game. It's not easy, um, but that's okay. Sometimes you got to challenge yourself. Uh, it's by Rising High Studio. You know, they've been just... It's cool to see that they made this in uh, 2015, and uh, you know they've only been making, continue to make cool games. So let's see how I do, and if I can get pretty far out. Oh, okay. So it's like I was in a in a city. I'm taking like elevators down, tutorial level with the spikes, reach checkpoints, tap to jump. Do it again. Oh, so there's like an invisible checkpoint there, I guess. It's not not the official one. Well, that I don't think there's much I could do on that. Ooh, ooh, a double jump! I didn't wasn't even aware of that. <clears throat> Should have double jumped there, huh? Yeah, look at the aesthetics, you know. And I like actually how the character has like a. Fuck. I like how the character has two eyes and it's always like spinning. That's just kind of fun. And when he, when he dies, uh, you know what? Right. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, I like how when he dies, there was just like way, way too much, uh, white cubes um, kind of just like overflowing the place um, like it's almost like I don't, I don't know I just like it I think it's cool it's something I will probably definitely do in uh, some of my games I made a video that showed kind of how uh, the the cu uh, not the cu the squares in the game balls kind of like disintegrate, uh, and that's like an orderly. It kind of makes sense when you look at it, um, but this this is just cool. Oh, that's that one. And if I can just focus, and like even these little triangles have decoration pieces going on with them. You can tell with the little water falling. Oh, here we go. Two hours there. Bad 
background looks great, the way the world. And I think there's a difference between how how you tap. Like Yeah. Ooh. Like uh Margaret ah. Talking and playing is a challenge I accept. Uh the longer you hold it, the longer or higher um, he jumps. That is a cool feature I have yet to begin to play with in BuildBox. I totally jumped there. I, I This is probably going to be a longer video because I am going to make sure I get past... Ooh, that was a cool jump. You see that? Physics! Yes. Ah, oh, because how the cube hit the ceiling, it doesn't allow it to flow in that manner. All right, well, that was great that I got past it. Now I just want to do a little bit more because I wonder if the water particles hit the cube. Maybe. I'm gonna keep trying. Uh, yeah, like I said, this game is tough, uh, but if you stick at it, you persevere. See, I got 16 meters attempt so far, 17, so it's like one meter an attempt as it is. Let me know what your high score is. If you like this video, please like, and I will see you at the next game.